Hello everyone and welcome to hopefully our final lockdown video, okay? So I put together a few challenges for you boys to do. Make sure you do it at a high intensity, okay? And let's see how you get on. Today we're going to be doing three different activities, okay? For these activities, I want you to get this now, okay, before we get started. Get yourself some socks. I've got one in my hand, some on the floor. Get yourself a towel. Get yourself a broom or any sort of stick. And get yourself a bottle of water. It's got about this much in it, okay? We're gonna do some bottle flips in this one. Right, so for the first activity, what I want you to do, make a circle on the floor with your socks, okay? Challenge yourself, make it quite narrow, okay? Big enough for you to stand in, and you're gonna have one pair of socks in your hand, okay? So this is a two pairs of, this is two socks, and I've scrunched it up into a ball, okay? So this is called the Bop It Challenge, okay? What are you gonna be doing? You're gonna try and use your hands as tennis rackets, okay? So make sure your hands are out flat like this. We're not gonna be throwing and catching. Make sure your hands are flat at all times, okay? And you're gonna use your hand to bat the ball, okay? So bop the ball into the air, the socks. Ready? What we need to do is see how many you can get without having to stand outside of the circle, okay? We're gonna go three rounds of this. Each time we're gonna try and beat your score. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, I've got ten. So attempt number one, ten. Let's go for number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah, oh, that's twenty. Last round. So my highest score at the moment is twenty. Final go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Thirty-five is my final score. Okay, let's see if you can beat that one. Right, that's challenge number one finished. Okay. That's activity one done. You can move your socks to the side, okay? I want you to grab just two socks. This is gonna be your starting line, okay? This is game number two. So use two socks as your starting line. And for this one, you're gonna need your towel, okay? What I want you to do is open your towel up fully and place it on the floor out in front of you, okay? So from the towel, I want you to take about five steps, one, Two, three, four. Now I've run out of space. Four or five steps is enough. Okay, so I've got my socks in line here. You're not allowed to go past this line, okay? That makes your attempt invalid. So what you're gonna do is underarm throw, okay? So have the socks in your hand. And you're gonna throw on the hand to try and get the socks to land on the towel, okay? If the socks land on the floor, like that, then you have to go again, okay? It doesn't count. And if I was to throw the sock, if it was to roll on the floor, and then all of a sudden it lands on the towel, it doesn't count, okay? It has to land on the, on the towel and stay there. Right. Yes, right, that's number one. Once you've landed on the towel, I want you to fold it in half. There you go. And I'm gonna go again. Yes. Now this time what we need to do, you're gonna fold it this way, so it's like a rectangle. Ah, oh, see that doesn't work, it doesn't count, I have to do that one again. Tricky, fingers crossed, this time it works. As you can see, it's very tricky, but we have to keep on going. Yes, right, now that's the last of that. We're gonna now try and go back to the beginning, okay? So remember the steps, we're now gonna unfold it once, 
So we've got a big square. Good. Every time it lands on the square, on the towel, you unfold it again. So now I'm back to the start. It doesn't count. You see it come off. I'm being honest. Yes. Right. If you would like to make that harder for yourselves, okay, get yourself a timer. I had one on my laptop here, but you can use your mobile phones on your laptop or anything like that, okay? So I'm now going to try it in 60 seconds, okay? I want to see if I can get the square into a rectangle and then open it back out so it's wide again, okay? Let's see if I can do it in 60 seconds. I want you to see it as well. Twenty five seconds left. Last round, can I do it? Ten seconds. There you go. I managed to do it in thirty in sixty seconds, okay? If you are able to get a mobile device or a laptop, to get your timer on, it's worth the challenge, okay? Right, time for the final game, okay? For this one, you're going to need your hockey stick, okay? Broomstick. And what you're going to do, you're going to keep your line here that you've already made with your socks. And you're going to need a water bottle, okay? Remember, I want it to be about a quarter full, because you're going to be doing your bottle flips, okay? So, this is going to be one of your goal posts. And use a sock, okay? Any sort of sock as the other goalpost, okay? It doesn't have to be a sock, it can be any, anything like a kind of deodorant, a bottle of soap, it doesn't really matter, okay? So I'm still out of breath from the previous challenge. Right. This sock, okay, is going to be a ball sock, it's going to be your hockey puck, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to put that in line with your socks, okay? Your starting line. And when we're playing hockey, your strongest hand, okay, so if I'm right handed, that hand is going to be at the bottom of the stick, okay, as you can see my fingers are wrapped round underneath, and my thumb is on top, facing towards the floor, okay, it's pointing towards the floor. My other hand, my left hand, is going to do the same thing, wrap around the bottom, underneath, and the thumb on top, okay, this allows me to twist the stick, have full access, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a push shot. Okay, so we're going to step into it as we're pushing and try and score a goal. Yes, so now all we need to do is collect the sock, dribble it back to the start. So now to confirm that goal, what you need to do is score a bottle flip. Okay, that's one goal. Okay, what we need to do is just see how many times you can score a goal. If you can, once again, use the 60 minute timer and see how many goals you can get within one minute, okay? So I'm going to restart my timer. Okay, are you ready? One. 
Yes, that's two. Remember, focus on your hands. That's three. Can I get one more in? Oh, my, my highest score is three, okay? I challenge you to try and beat that. So, that is the end of our challenge, okay? Right, as you can see, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath myself, okay? Make sure you're doing it to a high intensity to make sure you're pushing yourself, okay? If you can, remember, use your timer to challenge yourself. I'm sure you can all do it. And good luck, okay? Keep, keep well, keep safe, and I hope to see you in school really, really soon. Well done.